Hello and thank you once again for giving us the opportunity to come to you today as we spend a few moments in the Word of God and prayer. This week we are talking about how to interpret dreams and, uh, and just learning a little bit on this so that when we do receive dreams and we recognize that this is God speaking to us, we will know what to do with that and how we can make sense of it and act upon it. So once you and I recognize that God has given you a dream, that the dream that you've had has originated from God, one of the most important things that you and I can do is to recall and write down that dream or those dreams that we've been receiving from God. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 1, Daniel says, In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head while on his bed. Then he wrote down the dream, telling the main facts. So you see, Dan Daniel was a prophet of God and God spoke to him through dreams and visions and supernatural encounters. But Daniel, you can see from this verse, Daniel 7, 1, that Daniel took the effort to write down the dream and make a note of the key facts that he observed in that dream. And this is an important lesson that we can take, that when we have a dream which we know is from God, then you make an effort to write it down, uh, uh, the details, whatever you saw in the dream, and write down that dream. It's so important. Even if you don't immediately understand what the meaning of it is, that's okay. Just write down what you saw in the dream, the way you saw it, in the sequence in which the events took place, and uh, the details you saw in the dream, and also record the emotions you felt in that as you received that dream. Now, these may be emotions that you felt personally or emotions that you felt, saw yourself experiencing in the dream. So it may not be something that you physically experienced while having the dream. Sometimes that does happen, but sometimes you have emotions in the dream and make a note of those emotions as well. So recall and write down your dreams from God. Now, of course, if it's another other kind of dreams, if it's just a dream that was your own mind at work, or even if it's a, a an in demonic intrusion into you, into that thought process, when you wake up, you reject those dreams. You, you don't pay attention to it, especially if it's a dream that's causing fear and uh, uh, a nightmare. You say, in the name of Jesus, I reject it. I cancel any of its effects on my life, and I cleanse my mind off of those, those dreams. So you reject those dreams. You don't accept them. But the ones that are from God, you mull over it, you think over it, you recall. Most importantly, make a note of it. That's an important step in towards understanding the meaning and then being able to do something useful with the dream that God has given you. We'll continue talking more about this tomorrow. Let's take a few moments to pray. Father, we thank you so much that you're the God who speaks to us and you've given us instructions, Lord, in your word on how to process uh, the messages you give to us in dreams. And we pray that you'll help each of us learn and help each of us receive from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.